The polar is a very personal value because things like pilot weight, glider type, harness type, in-flight position, etc. all have an influence on it. It is best if you can get your own polar, but if you can't, you can use the values published out there that can be useful as a guide. For example, Willswing has published polar values on their website, and I'm sure other manufacturers do as well. Digifly developed its own formula to get polar values many years ago, and it has been widely used ever since. In order to be more accurate, it works with three points along your polar curve. You can store up to three different polars in your Digifly. To get the polar values that you program into your Digifly, you will need the following. Your Digifly, of course, air tools installed and running, and three polar data points in kilometers per hour and meters per second. These would be your minimum sync, your best glide, and a fast glide point. For example, we have minimum of sync at 39 kilometers per hour, a sync of 0 0.89 meters per second. Best glide at 47 kilometers per hour, a sync of 0 0.97 meters per second and at a fast glide 76 kilometers per hour a sink of 2.69 meters per second. Air Tools has its own polar curve editor where you input your data points in the form of speed and sink and it gives you a set of numbers called the k value which you will then program it to your digifly. Let's see how it's done. Open your Air Tools, select the Configuration tab, and under it, select the Advanced Setup tab. Scroll down to lines 11 to 13, which are the Polar 1, Polar 2, and Polar 3 settings, where you will then see a rectangular box with numbers, a small square with three dots, and a box with the letter C on it. Click on the box with the three dots. The Polar Curve Editor box will pop up. Use the data points for A, B, and C. In our examples, these would be A, speed 39, sync 0 0.89. B, speed 47, sync 0 0.97. And C, Speed 76, sync 2.69. Note that you will not need to use unit or negative sign. Then click on calculate to get your K values. For this example, these would be K value A, 0178, K value B, 0389, and K value C, 0301. On this picture on the right, you can see where the speed and sync values go in the oval, what your values are in the rectangle, and the arrows pointing to the calculate and the confirm buttons. You can then click confirm, and those values will go to your configuration settings in Air Tools which you can save and upload directly from the program to your Digifly. Or, if you'd like to upload these values manually to your Digifly Air, it is also very simple. Just take a look at our follow-up video, loading your polar values to your Digifly. Visit us at www.digiflyusa.com or digifly.com for more details. And thank you for watching.